Hi everybody, welcome back to the Retro Ghetto and today, finally, we're going to be taking a look at what will become the ultimate games room, my perfect man cave, the Retro Ghetto 3.0. Okay, so the time is finally here, guys. I've been muting this mini series for so long. I'm so excited to crack on with this. Uh, over time, guys, these videos will sort of ergonomically grow. They might end up with their own sort of intro, their own jingle, their own sort of consistent thumbnail. Um, it's not going to be a short thing. It's going to be a long road to get this to where we want it to be. Um, but as I said, I'm going to take you guys for every step of the journey with me. But yeah, it's all going to grow ergonomically. Um, at the moment, if you haven't watched my last video, please do so. But you know I'm so busy on all fronts at the moment. Uh, even what you can see behind me, the little makeshift man cave, the retro ghetto 2.5, if you like. I'm still trying to get all that together. So I've got a space in which to hold my games and play my games. So yeah, once that's done, I'll also be giving you an update and giving you a little bit of a room tour um, of the retro ghetto 2.5. But Anyway, enough of all that. Let's get to what we're here for. We're finally going to start looking um, at what I'm working with, basically. This video is just to show you the very beginning um, of what I've got to work with, the space I've got, and my plans to grow that space. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here's your first look at what will hopefully be the dream man cave, the Retro Ghetto 3.0. Um, first thing to say is there's clearly a lot of work to do. If I stand back here... You can see there's been a lot of damp, so the first job is to rip up all this floor and get it dry. Now the weather's changing. Um, there is electric in here at the moment for some reason. I can't get the lights to work. That could be something or nothing. Uh, I've managed to get most of the boxes out of here. Um, so let's just go on a little tour. It's not exactly MTV Cribs, it won't take long. This wall here, I am knocking it down. I can do that myself. So save a bit of cost, I'm going to tear that wall down myself. It's a bit dark in here at the minute, but um, there is a bit more space in here, look, to give you a perspective on how big it is. Um, so yeah, that's the wall that I'll be tearing down. There's also a few kitchen cupboards and stuff here, which I'll tear out myself. There's a nice bit of loft space as well, which I could probably utilise for something. Um, it's triangular roof, so it sort of runs throughout, so there is space up there to utilise as well. But, just quickly go over what the plan is, guys, um, if I don't trip up. This door, I'm going to be bricking up. This window, I'm going to be bricking up. People keep saying to me, why would you want to lose that view? But, as collectors and gamers will know, we don't like sunlight. So, yeah, I'm getting rid of all that. Um, and, yeah, there'll be a bit of an extension put on here. Because, basically, my house is there. Um, and that's a conservatory. So the plan is to build some sort of structure out and then join it to the house, which has proven to be a bit of a pain in the arse with um, planning permission, regulations and things like that. Every builder I have out keeps telling me different things about joining it onto the house. So it's a bit of a headache, but the plan is to build it out that way and then join to the house and have a, a door that will go from the conservatory through here. Um, probably should have unlocked this before I started filming. Okay, so, yeah, as I was saying, this is the part that will get bricked up. And then, my plan is to extend that to roughly here. Um, to obviously give me a bit more length. <laughs> that sounds wrong. But yeah, no window, as I say. And then I'm going to come out to roughly here. Um, you see this sort of makeshift mark I've put here. Um, and that will run to roughly here. So you get an idea of how big I'm going out. So I want to come out this way to give myself a bit more width in the room. So I've got an ideal place for a sofa. Uh, otherwise, it's not that wide and there's not really much um, distance between what would be a sofa and a television. So I want to bring it out as far as I can. Sofa here. And also have a, a door because I want to keep this little area as an outside area that will only be accessible through the Retro Ghetto 3.0. So it'll be my own private outdoor space, um, which I'll put weight equipment. Um, so I'll have my own little gym. And uh, if I was the sort of person that smoked, this would be the private area of which to do so. Um, and obviously, then I've got the view as well. 
But um, yeah, that's the plan. So I'm going to bring it out both this way and that way as much as possible. It's all price dependent at the moment. Um, still waiting on, I think, four quotes from different builders. But uh, yeah, that's the plan, guys. A lot of work to do. Um, hopefully, in the next video, I'll be able to show you quite a lot of improvement because uh, I'm planning on cracking on with this next week. So yeah, that's it for now. On to the next episode. The next episode. 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 Older. Okay, so as you can see guys, there's a lot of work to be done. Um, a hell of a lot of work. Nothing set in stone. Things can change. Plans can change. Um, you know, once you start looking at building regulations, planning permission, um, you get the input from different builders, um, costs, etc, etc. So nothing I've outlined thus far is set in stone. It's a general outline as to what I want and what I'm hoping to achieve. But it might be tailored along the way for something which is more applicable. Once you get to the nitty gritty of things like planning permission, nobody really knows. Um, I've spoke to like four builders thus far and everybody's told me something different. Um, I'm waiting on quotes to come back, etc, etc. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping to crack on this week. I'm hoping to get that wall down and other things. So hopefully we'll have episode two out for you guys soon. And uh, yeah, please guys get involved. Um, come along with the for, well, uh, come along with me for the journey. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, all that stuff that people say so you don't miss an episode of this because... Yeah, I think it could really be something that I'm going to enjoy putting out um, periodically. And yeah, I'm just excited to bring everybody along for the ride with me as well. So yeah, get involved, hit the subscribe button and uh, let's make this a reality, shall we? Um, also, as I've already mentioned, stay tuned because hopefully I'll get all this mess and sh plethora of shit that is around me turned into some sort of a makeshift games room soon. I'm currently sat here with my legs crossed like a, a little kid doing hymn practice in junior school. <laughs> If I stay here too much longer, I don't think I'll get up. So, uh, yeah, appreciate everybody that's watching. Get involved, please. And, um, yeah, I'll see you good people soon. Thank you. Goodbye. Retro Ghetto. <laughs>